My name is Tyler Ferdinand and I'm a climate innovation strategist with BFA Global's TECA program. TECA stands for Triggering Exponential Climate Action. Today, BFA Global's TECA program was motivated to throw this event because we realized there's a huge opportunity for new ventures in the climate adaptation and resilience space that are focusing on urban solutions in cities in West Africa. In the room today, we invited different accelerators, incubators, topic experts, investors and donors, as well as youth organizations that all came together to develop an atlas of opportunity. So I'm really excited about this TECA program. There's a lot of interest in climate smart innovation. Um, including in Africa, and increasingly I'm seeing investors, um, corporates, partners who are interested in supporting that. And I'm seeing those sort of diverse perspectives being put together really nicely to come up with some really fresh, interesting ideas that are also sort of grounded in reality. So I'm really hoping that this Teco wave will help us really strengthen that pipeline of companies creating solutions that are highly impactful, technologically viable, and economically viable, companies that are both impactful and investable and can drive impact at scale. Tekka needs three things to get this full wave started. One, and probably the most important, is the talent, so the actual individuals that are starting these companies. The second is experts, so the experts that are gonna provide the mentorship and advice to support those ventures on their journeys. And finally, the actual donors or investors that recognize this opportunity space and are willing to make it happen for those founders of those ventures. The workshop this week, I think it has been a very interesting workshop where it helps um, new innovative businesses you know, be, be able to find some of the challenges that Lagos is facing. And at the same time, um, you know, be able to uh, carry out proper conversations of looking at the, you know, the different types of business model. Young climate entrepreneurs definitely need all the, all the needed support for them to be able to drive and grow their, their businesses. So from the usual venture development program to mentorship at, at advisory, but most importantly, financing. Uh, will make many of these businesses be able to enter market and scale. What excites me is the fact that there are actually many climate actors and many people who are very passionate about the environment. The idea that I pitched today is a startup called Green Life Farms and it's an agri-tech which aims to tackle food insecurity and waste management in Nigeria and Africa as a whole. I do believe that a tech wave in Africa would, you know, um, encourage climate innovators and bring in more people into the climate space. <laughs>